Hello, my friends. Welcome back to the Empire of Mordor. Stretching from east to west. All the way to the actual coast. Nearly. Very nearly. Which is amazing to me. You may remember last episode we were scheming. I think scheming is the right word. To kill King Bard outside of Dale. Unfortunately, he has fled north like a coward. I have no idea what his intention is. He may be traveling to build another watchtower, which would be utterly fucking bizarre. His capital and last city, as far as I'm aware, is under siege. And where's the king? Uh, no one knows. <laughs> we are going to set up an ultimate assault on the walls of Dale. But we don't want to pull too many units out of Esgaroth. I just transformed... Transformed? Transferred? Transplanted even one over to River Run to deal with the uh, rebellious souls there. We just lost, I think... Uh, okay, well, this is not what I meant to click, but now you know. 71 soldiers have died in Moria. Not a single citizen, though. I don't know how that's possible. 2,000 citizens have died in the riots and 33 soldiers, which is utterly... That's really confusing to me. I don't understand that. How is it that... 2,000, let's not forget, these citizens are men. There's no way they're orcs. 2,000 men died in the riots. Perhaps they were sympathizers who were getting strung up. I don't know. Uh, it's, it, there's no way to rationalize it. I can't think of it. So we're going to move on and continue to build this army for... Uh, true. Things could get better between myself and Dale. Uh, the best result, though, would be their utter annihilation. Uh, we need some morning guard. There we are. Some maulers. And some raiders, however many units we have. Uh, let's take all... Actually, we'll leave one behind as a garrison. And we'll get our archers. Oh, I felt like I could have taken more spears. Oh, it's not necessary, though. Uh, the battle is going to be won by... Hormrath, most definitely. We're just going to use these guys as intimidation, you know? Um, let's just make sure that Bard <laughs> can't besiege Esgaroth in the interceding turns. So there we go. We are set up to annihilate Dale. I'm fairly certain we have more than enough equipment to capture the walls. And luckily, we are able to attack at night and bring along our good friend Yagor. We're not going to, to uh, do that right now, however. We're going to continue around Mordor in a counterclockwise fashion. So, Thranduil's Halls, still held by the Dwarves. Uh, I can foresee this becoming a festering hotspot of Dwarven resistance. Fairly quickly, if we don't deal with that. It only has six units in it now, but it could very well swell up to something. Like a boil. Like a blister that needs to be purged, I guess. We've just captured Dane's Halls. I destroyed Loni fairly easily. And we ransacked, I think, 8,000 gold from Dane's Halls. So that's gone towards the treasury. That ought to help pay down the debt we've accrued. Now I am essentially lacking a target for Dawn Death. I think what we could do is uh, garrison Dane's Halls, pick up some reinforcements from Rackyburg, head through this fort down to Thranduil's Halls. We want to cleanse all the halls all the time. Let's just make sure that we're not going to get ambushed by Thranduil himself along the way, and we should not be. So, my thought, yeah, is that we could hold Dane's Halls with a small garrison because the dwarves at this point are not too adventurous. I mean, they... <laughs> a roving band of dwarves did indeed capture Thranduil's Halls, but... But... This is a big but. They don't have, you know, half-stack armies just wandering around for the most part. I think we've essentially broken the back of Dwarven military might. And, actually, I just wanted to point this out as well. Harad has lost more than one territory, a few territories, and Rune has gained a few. They've been floating around 15 for the past, uh, I don't know, 50 turns? <laughs> what turn is it now, actually? It's got to be turn 293. So, since turn 257, they've been floundering in the teens, mid-teens. Harad is just shy of 30, and ourselves, well, of course, you can see we have 50 regions, which is, an <laughs> I love that fucking huge 
rocketing chart there. Gondor just disappearing into nothingness. That's what I like to see. We are 10 regions short of our victory condition. We still have to wipe out the dwarves and the high elves, though. Two of five. I feel like we can do it in 100 turns, especially at the pace we're going. I think the biggest issue we're going to face is getting to the high elves and the dwarves in the west in that time, considering that we have to cut through Arnor <laughs> in order to accomplish that. But if we manage to wipe out everyone in the northeast, we can definitely focus on the west, although Harad is a bit of a sticking point here. But then again, they're beginning to lose uh, ground to run. For example, uh, militarily, Harad has, again, taken a small, slight dip. Rune, I think, has also taken a slight dip. Almost comparable, so maybe that's not such a great metric. Ourselves, we've taken a massive dip, most likely due to our actions in Talsir. And this is sort of corroborated by uh, this plunge in high elf military might. Although this, at this scale, this could be more representative of our war with the High Elves in general. Let's just take a look at the territories. Yeah, I think that's essentially when we began taking territories from the High Elves. Uh, I don't think we have taken that many, though. I think we've taken Talsir. And that's it. Hmm. Anyway, moving on. We have captured Dane's Halls in the northwest. We now have Hanar just standing outside of Hormoras Folly, which is a bit peculiar and also annoying considering that Ren the Unclean is going to try to head through there within, within the next few turns. As we all know, Ren the Unclean is going to make his way to Gundabad and capture that. And we're going to use this and Hormoras Folly as a staging ground to push all the way to Karn Doom. Uh, we are still besieging Imlandris. Four more turns for that. I'm not entirely comfortable, though, with sitting on all of these soldiers doing nothing. So I'm almost tempted to push out of Hormorath's Folly once Ren passes, pushing, pa pushing out of Hormorath's Folly and attacking Coldfells, because it seems to me that there are no dwarves for miles and miles around. Although I think I mentioned in the past I don't necessarily want to capture Coldfells because of that exact reason that it's uh, very isolated. But my thought is if we have two armies, one in the north and one in the south, we, we should be able to continue west basically unopposed. Gundabad to Litash, Hormaz Folly to Coldfells. Now I could of course get Ren to attack Coldfells, but that means I'd have to deal with Somehow it makes more sense to me to leave Adunafel in Hormrass Folly as a defense force as we move Ren into position instead of having two armies in transit, although that sort of... Uh, we could leave Ren to defend as... Basically what I'm saying is that either of these options are okay, but for some reason I, I'm more comfortable with having Ren slip past and attacking Gundabad. I think I want his strong army up in the north his uh, basically untouched army. Uh, down in Talsir, I've now built two armies. Well, one army I'm really happy with. That is Hormrath of Deer, Lord of Terror. His army is... It's fucking great. This is an elf-killing army. I've got a huge amount of halberds in it. I've got my Alak High. And then, of course, I have uh, my siege equipment. What, what, I, what I've decided to do is have Hormrath cross west, capture Londaire, and hopefully he can starve Lond Angren of any reinforcements, and that means that Gazbag should be able to besiege the place and starve the troops out, because there's no way his army alone is going to be able to destroy all these elves. And in fact, I have a worry that if we besiege Lond Angren with this army, they'll just counterattack because of the weakness of this army, but unfortunately I have zero reinforcements coming. I am unable to recruit. It's it's not a great situation. Oh shit, I wanted to look at that. My bad. Um, as far as... <laughs> great. As far as finances go, we're still 7,000 gold short per turn. Mostly because we have <laughs> an entire army here. 
under Lagaf the Watcha, and then we have another army here under Uvatha, which is still many, many, many turns away from Arnak. <laughs> many. Uh, I say many, but really it's two. And then we have a somewhat okay army under Ufzag. So we have two and a half armies on the southern bo borders in Gondor alone. Uh, it's, it's not looking great. Our treasury is not going to recover in the foreseeable future until I start throwing bodies at battles, basically. Speaking of, I think we will close out the episode with the ultimate capture of Dale. And as far as I'm aware, the destruction of them as a faction. Uh, this could be one territory. It could be two. It's hard for me to say. Who else has one territory? <laughs> I don't know. It's hard for me to say whether Dale is going to be destroyed or not. We'll have to find out. Okay, so let's uh, begin the assault. Now, Lord Athel here, the Honorable, has quite a few troops in here. I could starve them out further, but I am pretty confident that we can take the city with... I'm considering quite a few losses, but considering the financial situation, I'm okay with it. And also considering the fact that we don't necessarily have any immediate targets to capture aside from this weakly garrisoned Erebor. Um, I'm nonplussed by the casualties we will incur, is what I'm saying. Uh, Yagor is going to reinforce, and of course, he's going to reinforce, and of course, he's going to, uh, use his catapults to project the force. <laughs> I got nothing. Um, I had two, one rhyme, essentially, and then it just, it just self-destructed. It's like the X-Wing over the trenches of the, uh... Can you believe it? I can't even remember what the sphere was called. I keep thinking Star Destroy, but that is definitely not correct. Oh, this is going to drive me nuts. This fully operational battle station. Oh, man. I can't even continue on before I redeem myself. Oh, okay. You know what? We're going to load the battle. And I'm going to remember what that fucking thing is called. God damn it. Oh, good God. It's the fucking Death Star. That's... Oh, it's very annoying. I find I sometimes have... I, I feel like I'm speaking as if this is something unique, but I find I sometimes just space out, like, entirely. It's very disheartening. All right, the... The Dalesman... Dale, unfortunately, does not have a unique settlement, and that's disappointing to me. Uh, the Dalesmen are firing many, many missiles our way, and I think our only choice is to get them off the walls as quick as possible. So I'm going to take the fucking walls with as many troops as I can muster. I want the... There we go. I'm going to have the catapult fire directly in the center. That way we can storm through with our spiders. We can storm through with... Uh, hold on here. I don't want the... The maulers hauling that fucking ram. Uh, okay, I've got some raiders over here. They will take the wall down there. Most excellent. Oh man, my uh, <laughs> my troops are just going straight for the fucking walls with all speed. It's very crazy. Um, I'm I have to say I'm I'm kind of surprised by how far the enemy longbows are able to fire. They're able to hit me all the fucking way out here. Okay, we're going to take the walls with towers. We're going to take the walls with ladders. Although, it's not looking so good for the towers at the moment. Well, having said that, they're taking zero damage from the fire and ammunition. But the point is, the point remains that they are taking fire damage in the first place. Okay, we've got halberds here. Uh, on the flank. Actually, you know what? I want to see if Yagor is doing anything. He needs to fire his catapults. And he's not. Okay. <laughs> that's that's great. I love that. At the very least, we have some Orc Maulers going up, and they should do well against these Bardian Marksmen. The anti-armor ought, ought to do well. Oh, shit. I've been firing 
flaming ammunition this entire time. Which is fucking useless against walls. Walls without people on. Uh, more accurately. Uh, okay, yeah, our siege tower still sitting at zero damage. So it seems to me that the siege tower is impervious to flame damage somehow. Okay, Yagor, what the fuck are you doing? Dick all. <laughs> That's what. Man, we've actually, yeah, we've lost quite a few troops to the, um, to the old longbows already. I guess we'll just move the halberds into place. And the maulers into place as well. Just so we're not, uh, you know, caught blindsided. Once we have a, an open position for them to attack. We're... what the fuck? Oh my god. <laughs> I see what's go going on here. There's some sort of... Hmm. Is my equipment literally not tall enough to mount these walls? Oh, good god. I was worried there. <laughs> okay, well, we've now run all of these archers off the walls. They're struggling to flee past my raiders for some reason, and it looks to me like they're taking a huge amount of casualties as a fucking result. We're bashing the gate. Yes, we're at the walls with the ran uh, the tower, more importantly. Uh, the orc raiders are on the walls, and they will be attacking those rivermen. Although I am very wary of issuing orders to units that are mounting walls because in Medieval 2 it just completely fucks up the whole situation. We are nearly through the wall though I'm gonna move my halberds into position although they're taking ballista fire at the moment which is really not ideal but we'll have to sustain it or rather uh, just uh, ignore it for the moment really. Okay, our maulers are struggling to get on the walls with these ladders. Weirdly enough, the only unit to do so. But so far, this is a pretty pretty textbook siege. We're doing well. We are running units off the walls. We've destroyed the walls. And now we can flood the... Oh, uh, what the fuck? Yagor, what are you doing? What are you doing to me with those fucking... That rotting meat... It has to be him, right? <laughs> that just... That, what, like, this has to be rotting meat. Or the heads or whatever. What an asshole. Um, that's bothersome, but not nearly as bothersome as my... Maulers are going to be as they... Head into the... Uh, center of town. Although I'm going to need my... Halberds to... Take on these Earls. I'm going to put them in spear wall formation while I do it. While I... Do it. And I'm going to try to flank around with my maulers. We'll put them over here. Through the breach, me boys. Now I have this unit up on the walls, and they're doing dickle. See, they're bugging out. They don't know where to go, what their name is, who they are, where they've been. I'm going to send the orc bands up here. And let's take a look at what's going on. We've got a unit of uruks against longbowmen. That's a tough battle. Our raiders have chased off some rivermen. Let's go after them. And now, our archers really ought to be up on these walls. Wouldn't that be great? Just stick them up on the fucking walls. Up on the gate, even. Uh, oh my god, what is happening here? Okay, so I've got a unit of raiders that is taking a lot of casualties because they're trying to run through the Bardians, perhaps? Is that what's going on? I have no fucking idea. <laughs> Battles on the walls in Medieval 2. Not great in many ways. <laughs> it buggy as all hell. People complain about sieges in uh, modern Total Wars, but I gotta say, uh, sometimes... Sometimes the old ones aren't, uh, aren't so hot either. Alright, let's get the spiders and the Nazgul Numenorians in as well. There we go. The troll catapults, eh, we'll just leave them on the field. They're not hurting anybody. Now the morning guard, though. Oh, shit. Okay, Yagor, that's a little too... That's a little too aggressive. He just... <laughs> he sicked the Oleg High onto the, uh... The old... 
Earls here, which, well, it's not so bad. We've got, uh, we've got the Halberds reinforcing momentarily. We are just streaming into the city, though. I love it. Uh, we've got Orc Maulers climbing the ladders. Not great. I really wanted them to just walk into the city. Oh my god, this fucking asshole's fuck. <laughs> oh, the the AI control is just, it just makes me weep. The, they're firing at our own men, and I I have no words. I have no positive words. More importantly, more correctly, I'm just hoping that the Alakai don't uh, don't have too tough a time against the entirety of the Dalish army, especially those. Uh, halberds that I'm seeing and uh, unfortunately I know the answer is they're definitely gonna have a hard time against those halberds so it looks to me like Yagor is throwing away the only heavy the only heavy shock troop we really have this side of this side of the fucking world we're gonna flank with the orc band hopefully that will do some damage it really looks to me like those Alakai high are not doing oh my fucking god why are my spiders here? How has this happened? <laughs> Good god, I thought I told you to... I don't know... Flank along the walls like... The Numenorians have done. Look at the Numenorians. look what they're doing. How come you can't be more like your brother, the Numenorians? Hmm? Why, why, why is this not possible? Okay, my Maulers are now... On the... Okay, all three units are actually on the ground floor. For a new crazy investment. Believe me, this one's gonna be a big one. It's like Uber, but with ambulances. It's gonna be great. We're gonna privatize the uh, ambulance fleet. It'll be fine. It'll be fun, even. Okay, uh, what else do we need to do? We're flanking around with the orc band to hopefully prevent any of these guys from getting to the courtyard if and when they break, more correctly. When they break... We have a unit of Uruks still attacking those longbowmen. A unit of raiders should be going after those rivermen. This is what I'm talking about. I issued this attack order many moons ago, and here these guys are slowly creeping forward as if you're going to sneak up on these guys on a fucking wall. Good God. Okay, well, I, I know that I want to flank around with my fast units. I want to flank these dismounted earls with the maulers, but what's going to happen is I'm going to issue an attack command here. My maulers are going to teleport into the ranks of the dismounted earls and just get fucking walloped. But uh, on the off chance that doesn't happen, I'm going to issue that attack command. Now we're charging at these Dale Cavalry with our orc band. How many Alakai do we have? Uh, nine. I think that's maybe what we began. What the fuck? Maybe what we began with. Okay, my Orc Raiders are taking javelins to the goddamn face. It is as it should be. <laughs> that's truthfully expected. Okay, my Halberds are approaching. They're continuing onward. Let's get these two units... Uh, around here, we'll get this one unit to continue pushing, although it looks like this is a real tough mix for my halberds to deal with. I hope they do well. Oh, for a second, I thought we lost an all high, and it's gonna be like, see? See? <laughs> I was gonna fucking lose my shit. Oh, we did lose an all high. We've lost two since I last checked. Okay. And look at that. We're losing orc maulers because they teleported into the ranks of the dismounted earls and they're getting fucked up although it actually paid off we managed to break them so that was well worth the cost in this case anyway okay let's get off the walls with everything we got unless of course we're still fighting something no off the walls you fucking heathens you included oh wait these are my uruk archers get on the walls it's a bit late for this now uh, okay, let's see. We've got heavy infantry, halberds, swordsmen, 
and a couple archers in the courtyard. Let's flank everything with our general and the spiders. I need to break these units before they kill too many Alakai. I, I've already resigned myself to the thought that these Alakai are dead. It was a mistake to, uh, to put them under the command of Yegor. <laughs> Big fucking mistake. What's really annoying is the rest of his army is not doing anything, really. But for some fucking reason, he's advanced with the Alakai. There's no rhyme or reason as to the thought process there other than, Hey, Charles are fast. Make them run! That was basically his... <laughs> that was basically his thought process. There goes another Alakai. Okay, rip. Rip in peace. You motherfuckers. We're still taking fire from these towers, too. Because there's still... 11 longbows there. Can we take them out with... These morning guard, please? How is it... Oh my gosh. How is it my halberds have ended up back here? What do we got here? We've got... Both units of halberds have... Somehow fucked up and they're way back here. This unit of halberds is not doing so hot, it appears. Uh... The enemy seems to be holding on fairly well. But I'm hoping once we bring in the rest of these troops, we may be able to break, get like a, a, a mass route going on. We definitely need some more bodies behind what's going on here. So we're going to send in the raiders. If I can break these earls, if anything. I think what I need to do as well is uh, take out those Bardian marksmen. Let's let's fire on them. We'll send in the spiders to catch anything that flees once they break. But we need to take out these Bardian marksmen because, yeah, they're causing some serious ruckus. Some fucking ruckus. Uh, yeah, we're taking casualties. Although 20% versus 50% ain't bad in any shape. In any way, shape, or form. Oh god, here we go. <laughs> Can the Numenorians and our Nazgul get out unscathed? Mostly. Mostly, but uh, not well enough for my tastes. How in the fuck have we lost so many hal... Okay, we lost 70 halberds since I last checked. Oh, I see. They're no longer in spearwall formation. Well, that's awfully telling. Let's put one unit here, and get the other here, but then of course here, <laughs> in turn. Okay, we need to wrap this battle up. I see this episode is getting a bit long in the tooth. Now my archers, a bit late to the party, um, they're not doing well. Uh, but we're going to send them to fire at, maybe we can get them around the flank. Like so? Yagor, what the fuck are you doing? Yagor and his entire army are fleeing the field. Uh, not really what I meant, Yagor. I just didn't want you to send the Alakai in. And, okay, well look at this. Uh, we've actually cut ourselves a bloody swath all the way to the Dale Swordsman. So we're going to use the spiders to attack these dudes in the rear, hoping they break. Although, I gotta say, the... Uh, the swordsmen here that the... I guess it's the Dale swordsmen. They're doing dirty work against my halberds. I really did not uh, expect that. But again, oh my fucking god, what's going on here? The dismounted earls are coming to ruin my spider unit. Which I've wedged in between two masses of men. Okay. Let's get the Uruks involved. I feel like the Uruks are not going to go... It's not a good matchup against those Dale Swordsmen, that's for sure, because they have... It seems they have some sort of anti-armor capability. That's probably what's going on. Okay, we're going to wipe out those Rivermen before we advance too much further. And then, yes, we have the Maulers on the flank. Let's get them... Right here. Stack them up right here. There it is. 
Oh, look, this unit is already in place to stack up right here. <laughs> okay, it looks like they left the marksman basically unsupervised so we can sweep in with our good friend Nazgulio and uh, hopefully get some cycle charging going on. If only he would get his head out of his ass and show up to the battle. There he is. Okay, my orc band are gone. They're not doing well. My uruk halberds are gone. They themselves are not doing well, which is pretty poor actually for me because I need those halberds to cut down dwarves at a later date and we've just sauntered into combat. It wasn't even a trot, a jog. It was pretty poor performance is what I'm saying. Now there's still... Oh, they're Dale Sword Masters. I should have known. The mastery part is pretty relevant here. Yeah, the Sword Masters just fucking pushed my shit in there. Pretty disgusting, to be honest. And uh, the Morning Guard failing me again. I need you to flank, my friends. Flank, my friends. The problem with the battles on the walls... <laughs> For the most... Okay, actually, look at that. We've managed to destroy the Swordmasters so we can get involved with the Uruks and the Raiders. Hopefully that should hold off the dismounted Earls long enough that we can flank around these heavily armored units with some Maulers. Let's send in two units. If I can get them, like, lined abreast in the street, that would make me really happy. There it is. Bam. And we'll have this unit just hanging idly by for obvious reasons. Okay. <laughs> Looks to me like we're getting hit by arrows because I kind of forgot that uh, our general was here. And here he is. Again, doing dick all. Oh my god, they have a catapult. Oh my god, they have a catapult aimed at, at my halberds. And it's behind shit. Alright, this is... This is not a drill. We need to, uh... We need to get... Your at You gotta haul ass, essentially. Oh! Oh, it freaks me out. It really does. <laughs> I think we can avoid getting fucked by that catapult, though. If we're at all lucky, that will be the case. Okay. We need to engage these guys at the front. The old hammer and anvil. Get the Maulers in at the rear because these Earls and Dismounted Sword Masters and whatever the Dismounted Earls and Sword Masters more specifically, or more correctly I should say, um, they're armored and they should be pretty pretty uh vulnerable to the halberds, much like these archers are going to be. Uh <laughs> and yet here they are firing in the flank of my halberds. Let's charge in. Let's get these guys to charge the swordsmen. And there we go. We've got two units of maulers now advancing. And then I've got 150, only 150 maulers flanking around. I've got my archers in place as well. Let's just get them off the field. Fuck it. And there we go. I've got 200 morning guard. Hopefully able to hold back the tide of earls. I guess. Well, not... Yeah, dismounted earls. And uh, our halberds and our cavalry. Looks to be making short work of these marksmen, but we're going to come around the flank anyway. And get a charge off. Woo, that was a close one. That was truly a close shave. All right, let's get a charge off on those marksmen. Hopefully, they don't do so well. And boom, we've engaged these guys in the ass. And still, still they remain eager. We've lost a quarter of the army. Some of these units, uh, the most important for this battle and the next. I'm speaking in specific the Maulers and the Halberds. We really need those guys to cut through the heavily armored dwarves. Though I can't imagine there are going to be too many units actually within Erebor now. It looks very, fairly lightly guarded. Okay, our exhausted halberds are taking on the swordsmen, and I can see that being a catastrophe. So I'm going to leave these halberds alone, and I'm going to see if there is a way 
to the rear. Oh, it's quite a way. It's a long way. Uh, alrighty. A long way. For Edward Longshanks. <laughs> oh man, I've been playing uh, Age of Empires. Age of Empires? Why am I saying it like that? Age of Empires 2 with the boys lately, and for some reason, we've been memeing pretty hard about the uh, William Wallace tutorial campaign. I can't explain why. Other than it's fucking hilarious. Good! You found some gold! That's like the first mission. You can find your food in the top left corner of the screen. Basically, that kind of shit. It's hilarious. Okay, um... Just a little window into my everyday meme... Meme inventory? My everyday meme usage, I guess? Man, uh... Dale Riverman MVPs of the battle. Look at this shit. <laughs> it's been a bloody battle. For the entirety of the battle. I can't believe it. Yeah, our Urux, in all categories, Halberds, regular Urux, they've just been doing not so great. But at the very least, it looks to me like we are pushing the Dalesmen back. Are they actually losing men faster than we are? I would hope so. That I would hope that these anti-armor <laughs> units are good against the uh, dismounted Earls, at the very least. Um, unlike these halberds who due to their tiredness are just getting the absolute shit kicked out of them not to mention <laughs> the clever clever dalesmen pushed a catapult through the lines in order to break our formation which as we all know incredibly effective against pikes and and the like uh, but anyway we've tried to do a bit of damage with the nazgul but of course that has failed yag or explain yourself <laughs> What the fuck are you doing? You've shown up to the battle to kill my Oleg High only. You've shown up and you've slain my most valuable and most difficult unit to replace. And then you're just sitting here like some kind of asshole. Hoping to get a promotion. Good God. Good God, y'all! There we go. We got a proper charge off on those swordsmen. And I think that's the end for that unit. Ooh, it's not looking good. They just got fucking nuked. Nuked like a cheap burrito. Nuked like a 7-Eleven Slim Jim. Doesn't even make sense, that joke. But we're going to try again with the rear charge. Uh, looks to me like these guys, well, for a second they were trying to rush the courtyard. Uh, can't, oh my god, have these guys been here the entire battle? I'm fairly certain they have. But there we go. We're finally, finally engaging these huntsmen, or rivermen rather, in some sort of appreciable form. Before, it's been like a slow trickle. A very depressing trickle. Okay. Once again, we have charged these units and they've broken. Now it's time for us to occupy the courtyard and force the Dalemen, Dalesmen, uh, the dismounted earls and whatnot, to flip their fucking shit. Uh, okay, so it appears to me we have actually lost a ton of maulers out of this unit. I want to say a, a hundred maulers since I last looked. But if we can keep these guys wedged in place... Where is this unit? Oh, I forgot to move them. Shit. If we can keep these units wedged in place and just wait the battle out, that would be great because that means we don't have to kill these guys. We would just assume they got killed. And I gotta say, they're uh, they're doing doing really well. Okay, let's just fast forward through time here until the end of the battle. And it looks like we are doing no appreciable amount of damage to the remaining Dalesmen. Good God. Okay, let's go somewhere where time is actually much quicker, like over. To the coin. Let's watch the rivermen fall. Even when killing the rivermen, we're not changing the balance of power. Oh, look at that. We've killed an another percentage point. But since then, we've lost another 40 maulers. Good God.
I didn't really think Dale was a military force to be reckoned with until this very moment. <laughs> but I suppose that's to be uh, expected. In that they have heavily armored infantry guarding streets. That's kind of their kind of their bag. The only unit that would be better in this regard, of course, would be pikes. Like a proper pike phalanx. Macedonian motherfuckers ready to roll. Okay, we're gonna have to... What in the fuck? <laughs> I didn't realize... <laughs> I didn't realize the enemy general was still in the courtyard. I kind of, to be honest, forgot about the general. Okay, let's return speed to normal. Uh, speak a few words for Lord Athel here. Athel here, you were a massive asshole. I'm not sorry you died. Burn in Lord of the Rings hell, you fucking heathen. There we go. We've won the battle for Dale, and we've lost <laughs> 1,700 orcs in the process. But we slew more men than we than we lost. So that's truly a victory for Mordor. Holy shit. Luckily for us, Dale is a very valuable city. Let's have a short moment to just throw out some numbers. Scroll down. You know what, at this point, scroll down, drop a like, leave a comment though. How much do you think that Dale is worth in gold when we sack it? I'll tell you it's tens of thousands. Do you think it's 10, 20, 30, 40, 50,000? 60,000, 70,000? Let me know. Here's your answer. Boom! 45,000. It's 45,000 gold. 45,000. That is more than enough to pull us out of debt. And we'll have 11,000 gold left over to to play with, essentially. To retrain, rebuild, repair. And there we have it. We have destroyed Dale once and for all. Uh, that's kind of depressing, actually. Uh, King Bard is still out in the wilderness, of course. <laughs> sort of uh, brotherhood without banners, really. They've no place to call their own. And uh, even with our military in Dale, well, it's only 5% bonus? That's very bizarre. Even with that bonus, we're still... Oh my fucking god, look how many people are in Dale. 94,000 people in this city. What in the fuck? Dale is by far the largest city in our empire. <laughs> Come in the red corner. Weighing in at 95,000 fucking people is Dale. Good God. Unfortunately, the income is is not reflective of that. <laughs> okay, well. Um, we now have tons of gold. Well, actually, I suppose we can take a moment to see what we will be able to destroy. Barracks, range, coaching house. That's like an inn. City hall, great market. Irrigation. Baron Stables, as per usual, are a target. We'll leave the Merchant Bank and the Theater, and we'll leave the Master Thieves Guild as well. May as well do. Well, shit, there we go. Let's move. Okay, well, I'll deal with that. I'll deal with that shit off camera. Um, I can only assume that. The, the wheels of production are going to be spinning in... They're going to be spinning up uh, across the Empire. So I'm going to have to go around and make sure I'm only producing and retraining where necessary. I'm going to have to repair some stuff and possibly build some buildings. The real issue here is we're still only... We're still losing thousands of gold per turn. So we definitely took a hit... Well, we definitely cleansed the treasury by winning the battle for Dale. Uh, but the battle for our checkbook <laughs> is not yet won. All right, when we come back, I think we will begin a brand new turn. And, well, we actually... I may actually just straight up besiege Erebor immediately. And begin starving them out. Because as far as I know, the Dwarven reinforcements are many turns away. At least three turns away. 
Anyway, when we come back, it will be a brand new turn. I may or may not have besieged Erebor immediately. I'm going to try to forge some semblance of an army out of these two. Uh, sort of like a phoenix rising from the ashes. And in Dane's Halls, I'm probably going to begin marching south to capture Thranduil's Halls. Framsburg, still garrisoned quite nicely. As I said, we'll move these armies when necessary, and we will most definitely be moving these armies in the west. For example, I think my first target is going to be Captain Kaundaugian. That's going to happen off camera. Lots of shit going to happen between now and then. So, thank you for watching, everyone. I hope you enjoyed this episode. I hope you enjoyed the destruction of Dale. Most definitely incredibly fun. Um, if you did, leave a like, leave a comment. As always, my name is Incoherence. This has been the Third Age, as you well know. And I will see you guys later.